Whenever I'm roaming on the road, whether hiking, stretching, or hauling water jugs, my body is constantly moving. All this outdoor exploration means my body needs a dense punch of nutrient-rich foods. You know, pasta gets put down as an indulgent and unhealthy meal all the time, but why can't food be both indulgently delicious while also being nutritious? The pasta dishes that I will show you today are easy, fast, and versatile for whatever eating habits. Today, I dare to share how you can pack protein and veggies into a delicious treat for your body. My foodie mission here on YouTube is to reconnect you with a more intuitive form of eating, complete with simple preparation and natural foods from the earth. For this reason, I never include real written recipes in my videos. This is in fact intentional. It's so important to learn to cook with your intuition, throwing meals together and tasting as you go. While it might feel a little uncomfy at first, I urge you to have fun getting experimental and creative in the kitchen. You'll be a healthy food freestyle and master in no time, crafting quick and easy meals that save you money and nourish your body. This one, one of my favorites, especially in the colder months. You're gonna start with a high heat oil, add all your squashy business, and cover to help cook faster. While the squash is still firm but starting to get golden, I add in my onions. This is actually some mystery winter squash from my favorite Oregon farmers who gave me goodies that lasted me a great long time on the road but this means you can use any winter squash for this recipe and it'll be good. Right before the end of cooking, I threw in some vegan butter, but you can always just do olive oil. And then you're going to add your garlic and some crushed sage. It can be fresh or dried. Finally, it is time to add your pasta. I love this brown rice lentil one for that protein punch. And then I add a bit more olive oil, salt, and pepper, tasting as I go and tossing it in that herby, garlicky, beautiful, buttery business until you get the pasta of your dreams. And yeah, you gotta sit down, enjoy that beautiful beast. <music> and pastas year round and in the summertime a different type of squash is my star summer squash like zucchini but you can add any type of veggie from broccoli peppers onions mushrooms artichokes have at it this is a framework this pasta is also sauceless because these two ingredients bring all the flavor it needs sun-dried tomatoes and capers i also like to add chickpea pasta for protein and i do cover it to reheat because i batch cook all my pasta for easily tossing into recipes Turning off the heat, adding oil allows all of the flavors to come together before adding my fresh minced garlic to turn that olive oil into a light yet delicious sauce. You can't forget your salt and pepper and of course a little bit of chili flake action if you're really hoping to spice things up with this delicious naked pasta. Of course, any sort of cheesy business like nutritional yeast, parmesan, vegan feta, mozzarella, I mean, go off because after all, like I said, this is a framework. This last one allows you to sneak a lot of veggies in, and I mean, it's so dang easy, y'all. It's a blender pasta. I simply add raw squash, garlic, and dried or fresh herbs to a blender before topping it off with a bit of milk of choice and olive oil, which will bring all of those flavors together. 
with a quick blend. It's as easy as giving your sauce a simmer for a few minutes. And of course, you can add any other veggies or flavor components to this framework and sauce. My personal favorite to go with is a big handful of greens, sun-dried tomatoes, and capers. But once again, go off and do whatever you like with this because it's a super adaptable creamy sauce, which sometimes I even like to add a big handful of basil in the blender, which makes it feel more like a creamy pesto. If you like this foodie content, you're gonna have to let a girl know with lots of likes or comments. Seriously, ask me any questions, give me suggestions, or ideas for what you want to learn to cook. This is, after all, my favorite kind of content to make, so if you want more for your soul and body, light this girl up! I really do appreciate y'all stepping into the kitchen and the great outdoors with me. I cannot wait to continue providing you with practical ways to nourish your body and mind. Until next time. When your cooking matches the scenery. <laughs>